Hi, I'm Zena. And I'm Ben. And we're from Mob. We've partnered up with New Balance and Sports Shoes to bring you the Mob Marathon menu. We've got three athletes in today, all training for the London Marathon, and we're going to show them how they can get some great nutrition into their diet while training. We're going to be looking at pre-race meals, race day meals, and post-race. We're going to give you a treat. It's going to be delicious. Make sure you stay tuned. Stay tuned. So we're here with Dan. Hi, Dan. Hi, Ben. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Good. Yeah, I'm good, man. So we're making today a Hawaiian teriyaki burger. Running the marathon. That sounds yummy. Yeah, sounds good. You're a big fan of pineapple. Massive fan of pineapple, yeah. yeah. Why don't you tell us about your favorite pineapple dishes? Just, uh, uh, I love to put in pineapple in salsa. Nice. Um, Tacos and... Yeah, I just yeah. think it goes with anything. Yeah. Uh, Pizza? Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. Quite, it's quite divisive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it just goes with anything. Okay, great. Have you had the it, flavor? Have you had it in a burger before? I don't know. No, can't remember. Can't remember? No. All right, well, today's the day. Um, and I, I was thinking about pineapple pizza. Yeah. So ham and pineapple. So yeah. we've got some bacon. Cool. Instead yeah. of ham. Yeah. And we've got, so in Hawaii, they eat burgers and they, they glaze them with teriyaki sauce. Nice. So we're going to do some little bit of teriyaki, lots of veggies, yeah. nice lean beef mince, lovely brioche bun, a bit of mayo. Dead simple. Good to get the carbs in. Yeah, absolutely. Should we get into it? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Cool. Great, so first we're going to season our beef mince. Cool. So we're just going to make a, two burgers, one for me, one for you. So we won't need all of this. I reckon we're going to need about... One and a half for me, half for you. Or well, exactly. There you go. Cool. That in there. So we need to... I'm going to season it up. Yep. I'm just out of shot currently. Hold on. What are you going to put in the seasoning? It's very simple. Just salt and pepper. Nice, yeah. For me, it's all you need. You kind of treat, treat it like a steak. Okay. So just a little bit yeah. of salt, a little bit of pepper. You can even do it in the pan if you like, but I like to make sure it's all the way through. Yeah. So if you want to get your hand in there, yeah. give it a nice whack of salt. Yeah. Just start mixing it up. <laughs> it's a black pepper. That's it. Yeah. Keep going. You want to really, really get it in there. So marathon's I'm, coming I'm, up. Yeah, I've never made a homemade burger. You never made a homemade burger? No. no. So sometimes people put loads of diced onions, breadcrumbs, eggs, yeah. loads of rubbish in there. You don't need it. If you've got really nice lean beef mince, yeah. um, all fatty's up to you. Um, just salt, pepper, let the beef do the work. It's delicious. Sounds good. How's it looking? How's it feeling? Uh, it's more like a bit of a paste now. Yeah, it? you want it to kind of be homogenous, like a nice, even, nicely seasoned. So I'll grab your little tray. So if you want to split that in half, you're going to make two meatballs. In here or on there? Do you think we can do it on the tray? Cool. I'll tell you what, if I move this over. Yeah. There you go. So make, roll them into little meatballs. I'll do it for you. So all we're going to do is get our nice hot pan, you're doing that, yeah. pop it like that, and then it starts to sear, and yeah. then you just smash it down. And you get this lovely, Crusty, beautiful. That, that's perfect. Perfect, yeah. I like that. Okay? Yeah. Let's wash our hands. So we've got our little beef balls. Yeah. We'll pop those there. And we're going to cook some bacon. So Hawaiian, yeah. ham, pineapple. Instead of ham, we're going to do bacon. It, yeah, it, it does well. work. So I'm going to get a cold pan. How many bits of bacon would you like? On my burger? Yeah. Two. Two? Two? Yeah. Great. So we're just going to put them in, start them in a cold pan. Is the cold pan important? So you can you can do it a few different ways, but this is full. This has got loads of natural yeah. fat in there, so we don't need any oil. We're just going to lay it into a cold pan, and if you do it in a cold pan, we bring the heat up, all the fat renders out, and it's just going to kind of crisp up. Nice, get all the own. flavors, keep flavors in there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So if you want to pop that on the heat for me. So marathon's coming up. Yep. How long have we got? Two weeks. And how's the training going? It's going really well. I've done all my long runs now. Um, so we're now just starting to taper yeah. and take things really easy, ready for the big day. Nice. Excited? Very excited. First one, right? First marathon, yes. Amazing. Hopefully not the last. <laughs> Definitely great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. killer. So this is doing its thing. You can see it's starting to change colour. Yep. Starting to release some of the, the fats coming out of the bacon. So we're literally just going to let that hang out and do its thing. And in yeah. the meantime, to get you to show me how you prep your pineapple. Here's a knife. Cheers. So what we want to do, I like in burgers, to have lots of very, very thin layers. 
Instead of, you know, sometimes you get a burger and you've got a big fat slice of tomato in it and everything's yeah. sliding everywhere. Yeah. So we're going to do lots of lovely thin slices. Right. I like it. Perfect. So what can I do with all this waste? Because I think that's a waste. So you can do a number of things. We can, you can make a syrup with it, it's yeah. quite nice. If you like nice. pineapple drinks, yeah. you could pour hot syrup over it and then it, it's that pineapple flavour. You can kind of just gnaw on these bits. It's kind of hard because there's still a little bit of pineapple. Like a little healthy snack. Yeah, healthy snack on the go when you're yeah, running. Yeah, yeah. Um, Might make my shorts a bit wet. Or you, can, uh, or you can ferment it, make a lovely kind of pineapple beer mm. kind of thing. So how do you want this now? You want it in thin slices? Or? So, if we just take the bottom off. And just make sure we've taken all of the... I'm leaning over the board. <laughs> make sure we've taken all these little fellas out. How do you feel about the eyes? I can just Not eat bothered. Them. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. <laughs> I, like I love pineapple so yeah. much. <laughs> so we're just going to go nice. Do you not think there's a lot of supermarket waste when it comes to stuff like this? Because you get the, the fingers and... I, the... Oh, I mean, I don't, I don't go in for those little... You know, the little packs? Yeah, no. Yeah. I'd just rather buy a pineapple and... Yeah. Do it yourself. Yeah. Do you want to just drop the heat on that pan down? Certainly. Nice one. So if we heat go dropped. nice thin slices. Yeah, I like it, yeah, yeah. Have we tasted it yet? Is it nice and ripe? There Let's you go. go for it. Yeah, perfect. Delicious? Yeah. Okay, great. So happy with the pineapple. <laughs> I haven't brought my toothbrush though. I need always have to brush my teeth after. Oh, of course. It takes the arm off your teeth, apparently. Really? Mm. God, we can't have too much in here then. No. Have we got enough pineapple? That looks great. Well, it's, we, need some, we, yeah, we need some snacking pineapple, don't we? So how's your, um, with your training, how's the nutrition? What's the diet like at the moment? Um, so we're now on the two weeks to go. Most of our meals are going to include carbs. Yeah. So I want to start carb loading. Um, and what does that look like for you? <clears throat> Lots of pasta. Lots of pasta. Um, I'm not a big bread fan. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, lots of pasta. Um, maybe pizzas, uh, nice. but mainly pasta. Hawaiian pizzas, of course. Yeah. Nice. So our bacon's looking really nice. Yeah. Nice and crispy. Smells great. I don't want it like shatteringly crispy. Okay. But for me, this is just about perfect. Yeah. So let me grab a little tray, and we'll put it on a bit of kitchen roll. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Keep it nice and yeah. Grease free. If you just want to lift that out for me onto there. That's hot. Didn't realise. Oh, this is what this is for, Chef. Perfect. So, what other veggies have we got? We've got some lovely, lovely lettuce. I guess it's good to get a mix in there, not just carbs, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. One of you, well, five of you, five a day. What have we got? One, two, three, four. So close. Have an apple off this. Uh, heat off. Yeah, we can drop can't the heat off keep, Can't keep the heat on, can we? No. Yeah, you have to tell, tell everyone what you do. <laughs> You're keeping it a secret. I'm a firefighter. He's a firefighter. <laughs> a marathon running firefighter. <laughs> Making me look terrible. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've got some nice lettuce. If you want to slice the tomato in the same way. It, what, thin? Yeah, I like everything nice and thin. Your knife has to be really, really sharp. Is that easier? Yeah. Yeah, great. While you're doing that, I'll do the onion. You raw onion? You okay with that? Oh, I love raw onion, yeah. Great. Yeah. So, again, I'm going to well, slice this nice and thin. So, I've done two of my longest training runs to date, um, and obviously my body needs to be recovering. Uh, what should I be eating after them sort of long runs? I mean, look at it, you've, you've, earned, you've earned yourself a bit of a treat, right? Yeah. I mean, how, how long were your longest runs? Um, both around three hours um, oh. and 20 miles in distance. Wow. What are you aiming for for your marathon time? Do you have one in mind? <laughs> just to finish it. Just to finish it, yeah, good one. Uh, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be very, very ecstatic with um, sub four hours. Yeah, um, So what should you be eating? I mean, yeah, you burnt, you burnt a lot of calories, so lots of carbs. Yeah. Kind of nothing's really off limits. Cool. But you, you said you like mac and cheese. Yeah. Big bowl of mac and cheese. Yeah. Chili. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, kind of whatever you like, as long as it's got, you don't want to kind Should of re replace protein, those calories that you've, just, you've used. Just calorie replacement. Yeah, a bit of protein, as long as it's yeah. balanced. I mean, always <laughs> yeah. you want balance, but don't be, don't be shy with carbs cool. and, you know, delicious things. Yeah. 
Okay, so we've got our, our garnishes ready. We've got tomato, onion, pineapple, lettuce. Okay, we need a bun yeah. and we need a burger. So we'll toast these off first. Yeah. And for our sauce garnishes, we've got a little bit of light mayonnaise and teriyaki. So this is the whole Hawaiian influence yes, going in. Okay. So if you want to turn our little bacon pan back on, we're going to toast our buns in the bacon pan. There's still lots of nice flavor in there. I'm going to make the most of that. High heat. Uh, let's go medium. Heat. Medium again. This, this pan will still be quite warm because yeah, it's nice, definitely thick, is. heavy yeah. pan. So if you just want to cut those in half, give you the bread knife. Perfect. I'm not a perfectionist, honest. <laughs> Beautiful. Great. So we'll probably, let's just do them one at a time. So I just want to get them straight in there. See there's like a nice kind of mm. sheen of yeah, yeah. bacon fat in there and like all these little brown, brown bits is all good flavor. So we're just gonna roll that around in there. Give it a little. That's, that that's chefy, isn't it? That just quick little yeah, spread. I'm not make chef. sure it's nice and even. It's the very, yeah. very chefy. It's yeah. the first day like in chef school. That's what you do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't normally cook from scratch at home. You see? No. No. I, I'd, I'd love to do more. Yeah. But time. I think that's everyone's issue, isn't it? Time. Time. Yeah. Yeah. Generally I mean, with my with the fire service and um, do with a four on four off. So. Um, so yeah. is that four, four full days you're on call? Two days, two nights. Two days, two nights. And then four days off. Yeah. Um, so then on the four days Busy off. Busy schedule, yeah. yeah. On the four days off I could cook more, definitely yeah. from home, but I'm normally out running. Yeah, <laughs> training. The endless cycle. Yeah. Well, so what are you guys cooking in the station? Very carb heavy meals. Yeah. Because they're easy to cook on bulk for yeah. 12 firefighters. Yeah. Um, so big, put big swag bowls. Um, yeah, big spag bowls, big lasagnas, big chilies, yeah, things beautiful. like that. Yeah. So we get some nice little bit of colour on yeah, yeah. And we just want to steam them through a little bit because they get nice and soft. Smell it. Bread, smell Yeah, look at that, oh, yeah. see? Yeah. Already? Yeah. So we'll take that one out, maybe do it on the other side a little bit, just to heat them through. And so now we're going to cook the burgers. So we've got our nice seasoned yeah. meatballs. We'll do these, we'll do these are quite big, so we'll do these one at a time. So if you turn this pan on. Yeah which is this guy, nice and hot. It's gonna get a bit smoky, but you'll see this technique for cooking burgers, you... Is that on? Is that on? Nah, you wanna go again. There you go. What you get is a nice thin burger and it cooks yeah. like that. Cool. So if you've got, if you're on limited time mm -hmm. at the station, smash it, they call it a smash burger. Smash. smash it down into the pan and you get this amazing crust on one side and it cooks cool. really fast. Good little tip for if you're doing these. If you want a nice. These done? Yeah. Oop. Yeah, perfect. I'll just grab those out. I'm gonna drop the heat on that. Do you wanna do the other one? Yeah, yeah. Maybe let that cool off a second. Right. So when you're doing smash burgers, yeah. get yourself a nice sturdy spatula yeah. and a little bit of grease proof paper. Okay. So we basically put that over the top yeah, yeah. and then smash it down and then peel it off. Cool. So Ben, why have you chose a burger for me as my one of my meals while I'm training? So you love pineapple. I do love first pineapple, of all. yeah. Um, and you know, pineapple in savoury food, lots of people think about pizzas yeah. and then it got me thinking. When people are training and you're thinking about nutrition mm. and people don't always think you can have kind of treat foods, like yeah, burgers, yeah, yeah. pizzas, this, that, and the other. Yeah. But within this burger, we've got great carbohydrate yeah. here. We've got protein and some good fats, loads of nutrition. This is also just flavor. Yes. Um, and, it, and you know, you've got to enjoy your food. You yeah. enjoy your training, enjoy your food. If you're running. It's important, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So what we're gonna do, tiny little bit of oil here. Okay. And then we're gonna put this burger in. Yeah. I'm gonna cut you a little square of parchment, yeah. parchment over, and then with this, we're gonna smash it nice. down. Really, really yeah, nice yeah, and thin. Yeah. We're gonna cook it, yeah. flip it, yeah. spoon of teriyaki, nice. nice bit of glaze, yeah. out, and then we build a burger, and then we can eat. Sounds great. Sounds good? Dreamy. Perfect. Well, that's we didn't have a breakfast, didn't it, today? Yeah. So we've got our little pop that on top of there. Cool, yeah. Right. Um, you training yourself for anything, Ben? Um, I'm having a little break at the moment. Okay. I did, I did uh, some triathlons this year. Oh, nice. But wow. now, 
I've got nothing booked in until next year. Okay. So Which maybe is... uh, the London Triathlon again. again. Okay, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Do you swimming? You got the running, biking. Yeah. I can swim. Yeah. I just don't like it. Yeah. I didn't like it either when I be when I started. Now it's my favourite. Yeah. Now it's my favourite. I one. do like open water swimming though. Yeah, yeah. But just like as, a, great, as a dip and just a couple of lengths. Yeah. In a in a in a whatever lake a wild yeah. pool. But... Get your get your wetsuit on. Yeah. Get out there. Yeah. Nice. Um, Shall we cook a burger? Let's cook a burger. Let's do it. So, on a little bit of, this is a vegetable oil. Cool. So nice neutral oil. Just what? a little drop. Ooh, can you hear how hot Ooh, that is? It's nice hot. and hot. Yeah. So, grab our burger. One at a time we're doing, yeah? Nicely seasoned. Yeah. Yeah. Pop that there. Heat up nice and high. Yeah. Then you grab your spatula. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. You want to give it a proper smack. Oh, I like. You can, yeah, that should be still pretty cold, so yeah. That's it. Tell me when. Keep going, keep going. And you see this little bit here? Smash yeah. that bit out. That. And you basically, you want it to be just a little bit bigger than your bun. Just Because when we yeah, cook it, yeah. it's going to just shrink. Cool. So you want to get maybe a, even a little bit more. Perfect. Beautiful. Now, take this off. Yeah. Whoop. There's your burger. And now we're just going to let that, let that rock. And we're going to cook it mm. like you would a piece of fish or a piece of fish. Uh, you cook it kind of 80% on this side. Yeah. And we develop a beautiful crust on that side. Cool. Because it's quite a thin burger. Yeah. Um, How I mean, long is it going to take, roughly? The time is on, I reckon, a minute and a half? Mm. Not long. This is like the quickest way. Okay. And you, you can pretty much be certain that it's yeah, cooked yeah. if you don't want it. It's just the high heat that's doing that, yeah? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And you can do these a few at a time if you've got a big pan, but mm. it's our first. What's your, what's your favorite meal? My favorite meal? Yeah. Oh, no, boy. meal. My favorite meal? Yeah. I am big, I'm a big fish guy. Okay. Yeah, like grilled fish. Nice. Nice salad, yeah. maybe some chips. Sound very Mediterranean. Though. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. yeah. Summer, you know, eating in the summer is my favorite. Outside? Um, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. So good. Cold beer, lovely. Tell me when to flip. Long. So you can you can kind of cook it like a pancake. You know when you cook a pancake and you see the bubbles. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we, we're kind of looking for the same thing. If you look around the edge, you can yeah. see that it's changing colour. Yeah, yeah. Browning. Yeah. And as the meat cooks, it's mm. going to go from red to brown. Yeah, yeah. So not too far. Let's have a look. So you basically flip this over and just go underneath. So I reckon we can go a little bit longer. Give it a little squash. And then, when we flip it over, we're going to spoon over some of this teriyaki. Cool. To give it a nice... Mm. It's going to season it, give it yeah. a little bit more salt, but it's also sweet, a little bit And that will work really well with the pineapple, won't it? It'll be beautiful. Yeah. And then we've got salty bacon, beautiful veggies, nice bun, job done. Give it a flip. So we'll flip it. Yeah. And then I'm going to turn the pan off. Look at that. Beautiful. Turn the pan off, and then the kind of residual heat will just finish the cooking. Cool. Just pop a little spoon of this on the top. Mm -hmm. Looking great. If their if, if their mouths aren't warm, I don't know. No, why. Look I at don't them. know. What. <laughs> that looks beautiful. If you want to flip it, so you see all this is kind of reducing yeah, yeah. on the bottom. Yeah, if you yeah. flip it and then flip it again, it will kind of glaze the burger really nicely. Double flip. Yeah. Perfect. So time to build. You can go first. You can eat first. I'll eat after. We'll make, we'll make me one in a minute. So, if we just spin our board a little bit. Okay, cool. So, let's start with a little bit of mayo. This is light mayo. Light mayo. Not important, though, is it? Not important. Well, is it, it's just up to you, mm. you know? Personal preference. Exactly. So, a little bit of that. And then, you know I was saying? I like lots of, lots of thin layers. Yes. So, you like bite through yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to do a few little lettuce leaves on the bottom. And then tomato. With a beautiful tomato like this, you want to just give it a little bit of salt. Cool. And then a few wacky burger on there. Straight on, don't be afraid to. Get in there. God, that looks good. Mm. Uh, I'll let you add your favourite ingredient. However much you like. Mm. So we'll do pineapple, a couple of bits of bacon. Yeah. 
How many are you going for? I'm going to go three. Three? Love Just it. because it'll be a, a, a stack, won't it? <clears throat> Beautiful. So, bacon? Yeah. That's a two, don't I? I'll pop some mayo on the lid for you. I'm not sure my mouth's big enough. You got this. Give it a squish, you'll be fine. <sighs> a bit of onion on the top here. Yeah. I'll start squishing now just to get my chefy hands All in right. there. Yeah. And we'll give it a little crown. That's it. That's your Hawaiian teriyaki burger. I love it. All right. That looks... we pop it, pop it on a plate for you. Yeah. That looks great. Good job. Cheers, mate. I really yeah. enjoyed that. No worries. Well, you've got to eat it, yeah. So you're going to cut it in half or are you just going to go in? Uh, you've got to go in, I think. You reckon? Get stuck in, yeah. yeah. Give this it is it. the worst. Yeah, because they're, 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 they're all laughing at you, yeah? You got this. <laughs> no way. Spin it's, it. It's going to pop out. That's it. <laughs> what do you think? Tasty. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Tell us about it. Give you some of these. That is delicious. Great. Yeah. Um, the pineapple does it. It's stuck, yeah. yeah. yeah Game changer. Pineapple, salty bacon, yeah. sweet teriyaki. Yeah. Can't go wrong. Teriyaki is good as well. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're ready for a nice long run. So this is the Hawaiian teriyaki burger from the Mob Marathon menu, especially for Dan, big fan of pineapple. So delicious. So delicious. Perfect for training. So if you want to see the rest of the Mob Marathon menu, head down to the description. There's a link down there, you can check it out. And don't forget to like and subscribe.